Hey everybody, Yankee here. Welcome to day five of my semi-automatic handgun collection and today we have the Sig Sauer M11 A1. If you're not familiar with this gun, it is basically a recreation or a modern version of the P228 which is no longer in production. This was them taking a Sig P229 type gun and saying, hey, let's make it more like the old P228. Now, this gun does have a few advantages over the old P228s. It's got night sights on it, standard, I do believe, from the factory. Uh, I do not believe it came with the E2 grips. And the reason I don't remember if these were the grips that came on it is because I bought this gun used from One Bad Marine. I think he might have installed these grips aftermarket because the grips that come with the gun, which are special to the gun, are still in the box. But these are the ones I think that were on the gun when I got it. Although I could have added them myself because I've got several of them laying around. But it's been so long, I don't remember. I do believe the M11A1 here does have a little bit shorter of a trigger reach than the 29, and of course, there's no rail. But otherwise, pretty much the same gun as, like I said, the old 228. But this does have one uh, difference you can't really see. The internals are phosphorus coated, I do believe is what they call it. And uh, it makes them a lot more uh, resistant to rust and corrosion, etc. But uh, it doesn't really seem to have much of a difference on the trigger. Because this one pretty much feels like most of my other SIG triggers. Uh, it is a very good trigger. In fact, the Legion that I have that was supposed to have a so much better trigger didn't really feel any better than this trigger. Uh, they were a little bit more adjustable, but as far as overall feel, it didn't feel any better. This one has a really nice trigger. Now, like most Sig Sauers, it is double action, single action with a manual decocker here. So you can load it up and then decock it and carry it ready to go. Double action for your first shot, single action for every shot after. And speaking of shots, it holds 15 in the magazine and one in the chamber for 16 rounds of 9 millimeter. Oh, and one nice little touch that I actually like is that it has the SIG logo engraved on the back of the slide right there. I think that, combined with the M11A1 engraving on the slide, is a nice little feature, a nice little aesthetic feature. So there you have it, number five in my semi-automatic handgun collection, my SIG Sauer. M11, A1, 16 round, 9 millimeter. 